Hello everyone. This is the chapter for class 9, A Truly Beautiful Mind. And in this video, I'm covering all important question and answers that can be possible in this chapter. I am including the textbook questions also and some extra questions. We can see Albert Einstein and the formula that he invented E is equal to MC square. The another picture shows the Nobel Prize of uh, that was received by Albert Einstein in 1921. This is the Nobel Prize for Physics. In the third picture, we see him playing the violin and in the fourth with his sister. Question and answers. So let us start. Question one, what did Einstein call his desk drawer at the patent office and why? Answer is, Einstein called his desk drawer at the patent office the Bureau of Theoretical Physics. It was named so because he was always busy in developing new ideas. He kept all the papers related to his ideas in the desk while in the office. Moreover, his office job required him to assess the inventions of other people too. Question 2. Why did Einstein write a letter to Franklin Roosevelt? The answer is, Einstein was a peace-loving person. He feared that Nazis could make an atom bomb and use that against the United States. He wrote a letter to President Roosevelt warning against the approaching threat. How did Einstein react to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? The answer is, Einstein knew that the invention of nuclear fission would be misused. He was deeply shaken by the extent of destruction in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He immediately wrote a letter to the United Nations and proposed the formation of a world government. In the next decade, he involved himself in politics. Einstein made earnest efforts for world peace and harmony. He campaigned against the race of armaments and supported the cause of peace and democracy. Question 4. What did the headmaster think about Einstein? The answer is, the headmaster did not like the argumentative behavior of Einstein. Once he told his father that whatever profession he chose for Einstein, he would never make a success in his life. He thought that Einstein was incapable of achieving anything in life. Question 5. How did Einstein fare in high school? Einstein was a bright student. While studying in Munich in high school, he scored good marks in all the subjects. He had special interest in maths and physics. Later on, he became a great scientist. Question 6. When and where did Einstein meet Mileva Marek? The answer is, Einstein met Mileva Marek at a university in Zurich. He found her to be a clever girl. She had come to study in Switzerland. He developed a special interest in her and later they got married. Question 7. What was the invention of Einstein? The answer is, Einstein published his general theory of relativity in the year 1915. His theory gave a new interpretation of gravity. His theory was proved accurate in 1919. Einstein gained international fame when his paper on general theory of relativity was found to be accurate in 1919. As per this theory, the calculations made by Einstein in advance about the deflection of light in the solar gravitational field during the eclipse were proven true. This theory was treated as a scientific revolution. Question 8. Why does the world remember Einstein as a world citizen? The answer is, Einstein is remembered as a world citizen because he cared for the whole of mankind. 
using his popularity as a renowned person he campaigned for world peace and democracy people admired him for his good deeds question 9 why did einstein not mix up with other children the answer is einstein did not mix up with other children in his childhood he learned to speak very late till 2 and a half years he did no talking he used to utter every word twice he remained aloof and did not mix up socially with the children here are some extra questions question 1 albert einstein was an unusual child how he was different from others in many ways do you think that those who think differently succeed in their life like einstein comment the answer is Albert Einstein was an unusual child. He did not have any indication of his greatness. He had a larger than usual head. His mother thought him to be a freak. He was a late talker. When he started to speak, he said everything twice. He liked to play by himself and did not enjoy the company of his playmates. They used to call him brother boring. He had special interest in mechanical toys. At school his headmaster thought that he was a he was a useless fellow and would never succeed in his life but he proved all the speculations wrong yes it is true that a person who thinks differently has more creative ideas he looks at things from a different angle if albert einstein had been a normal student he would not have been a great scientist Question two. Einstein succeeded in his professional life, but failed miserably in his personal life. Do you think that family life is more important than professional life? How can one make both personal and professional life happy? Why could Einstein not balance his family and professional life? The answer is at the university in Zurich. Einstein met Melva Marek. Both fell in love. married in 1903 miliva was equally ambitious and intelligent she realized that her intellectual ambition was disappearing they became an unhappy couple as they fought continuously finally they got divorced in 1919 albert einstein succeeded in his professional life but did not have a happy married life both einstein and miliva were genius ambitious and successful in their professional life but they lacked personal bond as they were too busy in their professional work to think about their families one needs to understand one another one has to respect and recognize the work of the other all the differences should be resolved amicably einstein and mileva could not balance their personal life because of their professional differences Question 3 Why did Albert Einstein leave school at the age of 15 Do you think a liberal environment in the school helps in learning in a better way The answer is Albert Einstein was quite good at studies and scored good marks in almost all the subjects He went to a high school in Munich He was never comfortable in the school He did not like the strict discipline in the school He had constant confrontation with his teachers his headmaster thought that he would never succeed in his life he could not adjust in the school and left it at the age of 15 years einstein left his formal school because he felt suffocated due to strict discipline or regimentation at the school he felt that he was not given an opportunity to think and work according to his own wish He needed a liberal environment where he could think frequent freely. He succeeded at the University of Zurich where the environment was more liberal. One learns more when one is allowed to learn according to his own capacity. Better learning takes place when the environment in the school is liberal and student friendly. Question 4. Why was Albert Einstein called brother boring? Do you also think so? How do you avoid to be called brother boring in your school or at home? 
The answer is Albert Einstein used to play with mechanical toys. He never made up with his friends. That is why he was called Brother Boring. No, I don't think so. He was an introvert whose likings were different from those of his friends. I feel due to being a scientific genius, he was not able to cope up with his classmates. He had different interests and did not take interest in his class fellows. He found that they did not have specific aptitude. It made him an introvert. I also have different interests, but I am not an introvert. I play with my class fellows and take interest in their activities too. It brings us closer. We share our joy and happiness. When it is my time, I entertain myself with my own taste and interest. This helps me mixing up with everyone. I am different from others, but still not brother boring. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. What kind of destruction had shaken Einstein? Was he a true scientist? The answer is Einstein was a genius. His contribution to science is unparalleled. Einstein was a great visionary. He was against arms build up. He advocated peace and democracy in the world. In 1938, the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin made him very upset. He was afraid that his invention might be misused. The Americans misused it and made an atomic bomb. The atom bomb was used in World War. Two cities of Japan were bombed in August 1945. This destruction disturbed him. He had never thought of such a destruction. He was a true scientist because he wanted his invention to be used for human welfare. He was in favor of world peace and democracy. Question 6. How was Einstein honored for his achievements? The answer is, honors came pouring in for Einstein after his theories proved him to be a scientist with exceptional abilities. He was awarded the prestigious Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. Honors and invitations were conferred on him from all over the world. The newspapers too applauded his genius. Question 7. The discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin had American physicists in an uproar. Why? The answer is, the American physicists were disturbed by the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin because they were afraid that Germany would make an atom bomb and use it for destructive purposes. Question 8. Why does the world remember Einstein as a world citizen? The answer is, the world remembers Einstein as a world citizen because towards the later part of his life, he strived for the peace and well-being of the entire world and not just his own country. He was no longer solely a scientific genius but a visionary as well, who felt that the solution to enmity between countries was a world government. Next question, what research and theories prove that Einstein was a true genius? How was he rewarded for his scientific achievements? The answer is, Einstein proved to be an intellectual and scientific genius after the completion of his university education. Although he was jobless for some time and gave private tuitions, he finally got a job of a technical expert in a patent office in Bern. Here, along with the job, he kept developing secretly his own ideas and came out with the publication of his famous research paper on special theory of relativity according to which time and distance are not absolute. His theory about the relationship between mass and energy was developed into the world famous formula E is equal to mc square and this equation made him a renowned scientist. Einstein earned international acclaim with the publication of his general theory of relativity which enabled him to calculate in advance the extent of the deflection of light from fixed stars as it passed through the gravitational field of the sun. The theory was declared as a scientific revolution by the newspapers. For his contribution to the development of science, and Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. 
after this a number of honors were bestowed upon him and he was invited by different countries in the world newspapers too hailed his scientific genius next question which values does the life of einstein teach you the answer is einstein was not only a great scientist but a man with love for peace his life history contains in itself the moral lesson that one must love one's fellow beings and all the discoveries of science should be oriented towards the aim of establishing peace einstein had a, had written a letter to american president roosevelt to warn him against a destructive atom bomb that germany would build up on principle of nuclear fission but einstein was terribly shocked when america caused large scale destruction in japan by dropping an atom bomb on hiroshima and nagasaki einstein made sincere efforts to spread the message of peace he even wrote a letter to the united nations proposing that a world government should be established he did not use his popularity for selfish or personal gains instead he worked for furthering the cause of democracy and peace he was never carried away by his achievements on the contrary the honors bestowed on him encouraged him to work more for the welfare of humanity the life of einstein inspires in us the values of sincere work devotion to humanity selfless service of mankind and love of peace next question what important lessons can educationists today learn from biographical sketch of the great scientist einstein the answer is a truly beautiful mind forms a powerful comment on the education system in many institutions a brief life sketch of great scientist reveals that einstein was not a fast learner at the early stage of schooling his headmaster had remarked that he would not succeed in any course he took but the reality proved to be otherwise Einstein turned out to be an intellectual genius. Educationists today can learn several important lessons from his education career. First, teachers must encourage all the students all the time. Instead of making negative remarks, they should discover the individual potential of students and try to develop it to the maximum. Second, the students should be provided with a liberal and conducive environment so that they feel encouraged to think originally and their ideas may find nourishment instead of being smothered einstein felt much suppressed in his school in munich because of the stifling regimentation over there such strictness made him leave school for good and move to switzerland his talent bloomed in the liberal environment of the university of zurich and number 3 all stakeholders of education system today should be free from all kinds of biases and prejudices thank you everyone i hope the video all the questions and extra questions that i formulated for you were easy to understand and useful if you don't understand anything free to ask in the comment section do share my videos subscribe if you are new and yes do take good care of yourself bye